Hello and a warm welcome oh, freezing, to the Wensley Hills Railway. Now, Colin can't be here today due to his at work and this thing's going off my screen. Anyway, Colin can't be here today because he's at work, so it's just me. Now, I've been the one that's mainly done the winter maintenance this year. Um, it has been a fantastic start to the year. We've got so much done and we are coming back online at the end of this month. Now we apologise if we've been away for a while, it's just we we wanted to get as much done as possible. Um, so what we've managed to get done is the road through, through the Hillington. We've got the station area up there done, the canal, but I won't show you the areas up there yet because they do need touching up so they do look a bit mm, at the moment. Um, we also, uh, we, oh, we've, uh, we've put the wall in, the track in front of you, which, sorry, the track behind you, which is in front of me, which is quite confusing. Um, it was been the first time since the railway has extended uh, that has actually seen maintenance work put on it. We've had new stretches of track. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but on... Mm, bear with me. Oh! It is... On the old corner bit, it used to dip in like that, going around the corner, just over there, just before the incline. On the inner loop, uh, it used to dip into the corner, and it was a nightmare because it caused all sorts of trains to derail. To <laughs> all sorts of trains to derail. So we've taken it out. As you can see, it's bent the track ever so slightly, but that wasn't enough to... In fact, the track was a bit more bent because it had buckled in. So the track did this. Come round, come round, buckle in, come round. But we've managed to repair that now. It's now on stands, so it goes round smoothly and drops down to a nice level. Um, so yet it is really cold. Uh we have visiting engines for the steam gala, which will you will see one of them at the end of this video. Now the visiting engine you'll see is 4464 in garter blue bitten from the Great Goodbye set with the headboard. In fact, let's just prove we've got bitten. Ha <laughs> ha! The Great Gathering headboard. God, it's cold. And we also have Bitten's second tender here. Now this is done up by Colin. Colin's managed to do up a second tender. I think it looks pretty good for a first attempt. Um, it's in LNAR Gat Blue. So here it is. His own creation of the water tender. Now you'll see this behind the A4 Bitten in the Steam Gala. Which is going to be the start of next month, which is, next, which is April, I believe. Unless I've changed it without me knowing. Right, back on the rails. So, oh, another thing we've done is we have got the hill in place. The tunnel's been done up a slight bit. The town's been redone because of the, the houses inside anyway because we have done some more buildings. Um, I know the incline's got one new stretch of track on it, which didn't take us two minutes though. Well, set that, obviously it did. Uh, it took us about half uh, half an hour, which isn't bad, um, considering we had to pull the incline, sorry, we had to pull that part of the incline up, new, lay a new balsa wood, and lay the track back on it. We, was all running really smoothly, but the only reason why we did that is because at the end of the year, the track decided to do it. the boards decided to one board was tilted like that, the other one was like that. The board stanchion that keeps it up, which is the board thing like that, uh, the board stanchion decided to do this. So of course, the track went like that, and you saw two dangling tracks in the air, and we put it back up, and the track was. But anyway, I will show you now what we have, well, the, the nicer parts of what we've got. I won't show you everything, because you'll see most of it in the Steam Gala. Now, we're asking if you have any questions, 
about the Wednesday Hills Railway this year, do not hesitate to ask. If you have any locomotives you would like to visit to the Wensley Hills this year, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, we've got a apple green standing in for the B1, which is over there, because unfortunately she might... Mm, she might not, but she might be in the gala because of she has a bogey axle problems. Every time she goes around the corner, the bogey goes pff, and falls off. Anyway, I will show you the progress so far. See if you like it. Okay then, guys. So now we are at the centerpiece. Well, centerpiece. The far end with the Hillington station. Now, as you can see, the road is black. About time we painted it too, because I was sick of it looking like a sandy colour. We're not in a desert or anything. Anyway, moving on. Uh, as you would hopefully have noticed when I was doing this, we have the new visiting engine, Black 5 44668, which has got its first debut back on the Wensley Hills Railway, as it did fail with multiple problems. Thank you to the Shieldon Locomotion Group for fixing that for us. They will be included in the description below. Please like their Facebook page. And we've also got some signs down there. We need to do them properly. The farm's been redone around here. Now I just need to do down there now. And then that's finished. Obviously the boots van's not going to be parked in there for real. That's just why we got everything out. Now, as you can see, we've got a brand new wall coming around here. The wall will be coming around there eventually. And joining up to this station here, which is Hillington Platform 2. Uh, that the walling was done courtesy of help from David Howarth because of his tutorials are amazing. Now, coming around here, you'll see that the town has been sort of redone, the housing part of it, with a new Charlie's Chippy Shop has just opened. Um, visit there, you get your fish and chips. Not for real, actually. Um, I've forgotten how. Oh, fishing. Oh, cod. One slash something, whatever that means. I think it's one pound. Um, anyway, so we'll move on to down this way. Where we have the new Yorkshire Dales Park. We have redone it, and I forgot to mention it when it was sat right in front of me as well. So we have a new Yorkshire Dales Park in place because I didn't like the other one because it started to look tatty. With a brand new pond with E to Z water, a, a path, the original coats that's there, toilets which used to be here. Now the track's been extended on there as well. Uh, the, a new hill. Now this hill is shaped to walk up. Look, if I put you in there. Look. That's amazing! And it's also got a viewing point which will have a fence or a hedge going across there so people can't fall down because um, that wouldn't be very good for health and safety and insurance, would it? Moving around here a bit more, we have got a new passing loop for a DMU or the freight train. Um, now, this was the original coaling area now that's all been redone up for the engine shed which currently stands all of the steam locos featuring in this year's steam gala so i will swivel you around there bum, bum, bum. now as you can see the newly redone up engine shed sanding about 89 million steam locos in only joking um with incline obviously now Pull it back so you can see the light. There's the new engine shed. Now the engine shed is two rows long still with a cut off for the water tower. And this year, featuring once again the most popular runner last year, is back in service. Now I did mention last year in January she will be taken out in August of traffic and I think she was taken out sometime in November and has been finished and will be back in traffic for the start of the season. Uh, now, the a new track, which we have re-ballasted, re-laid and done up here, which was finished tonight. If I move down here, oh, it's a bit dark down there because my light bulb blew and I don't have another one. Oops. We can see the track doesn't have a bump in it anymore. In fact, it's raised up like that, so if I push this one across, it's raised up. 
I mean, it's also featuring a brand new roadish thing around here. Now the hill will come around here and make a V cut. You just saw it saw bitten as well, which is what I wasn't meant to do, but oh well. Anyway, let's get on with seeing 4464 LNAR A4 Pacific bitten on her test run on the Wensley Hills. Enjoy. Then, just before I go, I would like to say, I won't get comfortable first, because it, you can't see me, so I can lift you up. Hi. Anyway, just before I go, I would like to say a huge thank you to every single person that helped us watch videos, subscribe to the channel, put positive comments on to help us. It's too far down now. There we are. Put positive comments to help us and loaned us low codes as well because we've got some of them coming up for this year's Diesel Gala which was unable to do last year because all of the issues we kept having up there up there is now complete about time. Um, there will be a huge announcement to make at the end of this year though. We can't give any clues away yet but it's one that will... Some some will be shocked, put it that way. Um, but hopefully you will enjoy this year's Wensley Hills as it's our fifth birthday up here um, for this year. Last year I got it all wrong. Oops. Um, oh. Whistle. Do as your command. Anyway. We've also, before we're coming back into season, are trying out these new points to, uh, to do your new points to do your thingy on. You know, that thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I will go now though because I've got to upload all this on tonight. Um, so, thank you so much to every single person for 2014. Happy modelling for 2015. Now, don't forget, you could check out the channels of uh, Tring Trains Productions, who will be providing some locomotives for the fifth anniversary, such as Duchess of Sutherland and the Vo Virgin Voyage actually visiting here as well. Yes, a mainline, lo a mainline fast train. So, thank you so, so much for watching this video, and I will see you all at the end of this month with the running videos. Thank you. Bye! Bye, said Colin.